folks hope everyone's doing well today I am ready to get back to playing some Kaizo I haven't played very much this last week so I might be a little rusty good evening Seraph I had a nice weekend went out to the beach took the dog to the beach for his very first time let's see oh, so we're not at a round multiple of 50 deaths so I'll say when we hit 900, we'll just spin the wheel the first time. We'll do an early first spin. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. We finished off finishing a level. I think we just got to world two. I think this game is like three or four worlds. And something like 14 exits, I want to say. So we're like third or quarter of the way through. How's everyone doing tonight? Color Code Cove. Yellow coin is jump. Blue coin is spin jump. Hey, look at that. Oh, okay. Doing well, doing well. Let's see. I'm still kind of recovering from travel. Traveling with a dog is twice as hard as traveling without a dog, it turns out. I don't know how anyone travels with kids or, God forbid, do dogs and children. Good. Good job, Miles. I'm glad you're learning to beg for popcorn. Did you maybe learn that two nights ago when we were having popcorn at the coast with Reggie, the other dog? Careful, though, though, CJ. This is how we end up with a dog with health issues if he gets too much buttered popcorn. Okay. We're learning that we gotta lay down. That's our current, one of our main current training goals is teach the best way to beg is by laying down instead of jumping up and climbing all over you. Especially when you have little needle sharp puppy claws. Oh, I have not been counting deaths. make sure my death counter is working. Yes, it is. Let's see, that was what, five deaths? 
Yeah, I made the mistake of wearing shorts while I tried to have the dog on my lap driving out to the coast. And, um, I don't think I ended up with any scars on my thighs. But dogs are great and they're also sometimes very draining. progress already. This level doesn't seem that bad so far. Let's see, I finished the Kaizo game I was playing off stream last week, Super Hark Bros. That was a good game. Oops, didn't mean to make a quick save there, but I don't think we're going to use it anyway. Oh hey, would you look at that? We're at 900 deaths. I know it's early, but let's just do this first bin now so we don't have to keep track of where our offset from 50 is. Because I do kind of like keeping a death count of the entire game. So, let's go over and see that wheel. Let's see what we have tonight. Let's see, there's no dairy products on there. Well, that's not true. There's ice cream on there, but ice cream should be fine. But, yeah. Not making that same mistake again. Let's see, I'm really hoping for gummy worms. I love gummy worms. I had to put something good on there for me. So we've got a lot of relatively normal things that we've seen previously. Um, let's see, I found a chocolate wine cooler at the store today, so we're gonna have, that's on there. Some chocolate flavored alcohol, that's always good. An empty glass of gummy worms? I'm perfectly happy with that, CJ. I would be thrilled. Let's see, uh, we got a couple bad options on the wheel here. We got fish sauce, we got mustard, we also have a pocket, packet of ramen seasoning. Thank you so much to the, I can't remember which Moonshot host it was who suggested that, but one of the Moonshot hosts suggested that. So yeah, let's go ahead and give that wheel a spin. But we're just gonna start with the lemon juice. Perfect. Not the thing I really wanna take a sip of, but there, there are plenty of worse things on there. Right. Let's see. I'm learning how to use my computer in more and more powerful ways. I figured out that you can have multiple desktops, like multiple desktop environments on the same computer without extra monitors in Windows 11. So now we're going to have lemon juice. Nothing particularly exciting. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll end up with a completely non-alcoholic drink tonight. I would certainly like that. If there's enough fun flavors among the alcohols, I want to include them. At some point, though, we'll do a dry wheel. Because the joy of this is the mixing things together, the making potions, not, not the making something alcoholic, you know? All right. Boom, yep, our list is updating properly. There we go. I'm not gonna take a sip of just lemon juice, tempting as it is, but yeah, if I just dropped a couple gummy bears in there, that would be a good sour candy. See, there's, there's so many good possibilities at the beginning of these nights, and all it takes is one bad spin for almost all of our hope to fly out the window. Oh, I bonked my head. I was very close to getting that. Let's see. We finally got a new episode of Gahooligans out. After like a month of hiatus, thanks to computer death and busy, busy lives. 
So that feels good to be back on track there. My death counter seems to have stopped. Why is my death counter stopped? Subtract a death. Huh, why is our death counter no longer working? It was working two minutes ago. It's just a little Python app I have that reads keyboard inputs and adds a number, adds one or subtracts ones to a number in a file. Then OBS reads that out. So I don't know what's not working here. Hmm. I'm just going to stop and start my script. All right. Let's see, did that work? Okay, now it's working. I just had to stop and start it for some reason. Yep, there we go. All right, death counter working. Back in business. All right, let's see. So we were, we died like what, four times there? All right, and spin jump, bounce, bounce. Low spin jump, so I can actually land on that platform again. Dog sounds aren't coming through. He's being a dramatic guy tonight. Probably because he stopped getting popcorn snacks. And that's very upsetting. Oh. oh, this is gonna be another one of those nights. Where it gets very warm back here in this office. Which means I bet the stream will not go as long as it sometimes does. Unless I have a good cold drink. <laughs> that I actually want to sip. Sip. slow getting off that first platform. Hmm, I thought that was a low enough spin jump, but I guess it was not. So yeah, I've just been in prime organizational mode today. Getting July's parlor mode set up. I was supposed to run Blood on the Clock Tower yesterday, which is like complicated werewolf. Been looking forward to doing that for a long time. And then of course ended up falling through, but hopefully I'll get to do that soon. Because it's a complicated social deduction game that has one person in the role of actually um, making decisions, like basically GMing it. And so, like, I love social deduction games in concept, and I'm always terrible at them in practice. So this would let me have the best of both worlds. You can have very funny situations where you have, like, good characters who think they're evil and evil characters who think they're good. You can have... Good characters with powerful abilities getting misinformation. Close. The 
this first halfway point is not super far. Like, none of this is, like, terribly tricky compared to the last couple levels. This one feels like a step down, which is good. I could have used something easier to start out today. Oh, I have to jump around the whole platform. I see. For some reason, I kept thinking that that platform is, um, you can jump through it, but you can't. That's not those kind of platforms. That's why this is going wrong. And that's why that coin is there. Yeah, I think Blood on the Clock Tower would be a very fun moonshot stream, but also figuring out how to actually like make a stream happen would be really difficult. Yes! Boom! There we go. I mean, I said I'd take victory sips, right? Let's have some lemon juice. Mm. Not pleasant, but it's lemon juice. What do I expect? Okay, what's happening here? Let's see. Start to fall. Grab the shell. Throw the shell. Something? Well, not that. Also, can I jump through these bones? Nope, those bones are walls. It's just always tragic when there's a cool game that has like, needs like seven players minimum to be fun or to be like at its played as intended. Cause it's hard to get seven people together once you're not in college. Okay, am I just completely missing something here? Because I don't know. Maybe if I get peace speed. Nope. Even then not. My freshman year of college, we had some beautiful days where there would just be like 10 people on the same floor who all hung out in the same general space so you could get people together for just about anything. Retrospect, I feel like I wasted those opportunities because I used them on, like, Cards Against Humanity, which now I kind of regret ever playing, and, uh, Munchkin, which is a fine game, but did not deserve the amount of love that I gave it. Maybe it's just because I play it, played it too much, I feel that way. Okay, am I missing something? There we go. That's a tight first jump. We did have some good games of Betrayal at House on the Hill. That was a fun one. Well, Betrayal is always one of those games where it's like 50-50 as to whether it's going to be a solidly mediocre game or like one of the best board games you've ever played. We also had some good RPG times. That was like the first thing that CJ and I like really did together was she ran Pathfinder. Good old first edition Pathfinder, where the numbers just get too big too fast. And one min-maxer can ruin everyone else's day if they decide, actually I'm going evil and deciding to just screw up the rest of the party. Okay, there's got to be a consistent way to get this jump that I am missing. No, you still have good times, though. That was be the beginning of many better RPGs. I mean, heck, I think that 5th edition D&D is better than 1st edition Pathfinder. But I'm curious to try 2nd edition. 
I have a feeling I'll still have a lot of gripes. But I've played enough 5e at this point that, like, I'd be a breath of fresh air to try something else in the same space. Oh, hey, we hit 50 deaths. What am I doing? What am I doing? We hit 50 deaths. Stop the Kaizo, start the cocktails. All right. Put your money where you want on the wheel. Oh, we, we're so close to hitting gummy worms. By a hair. By a hair. That's okay. Rosemary's really not that objectionable. It's not going to give a good um, texture experience. But it's manageable. All right, rosemary. I just have some dried rosemary. I'm sure it would be better fresh. We'll just do a little sprinkle. It smells like rosemary. All right. <laughs> yeah, now we just have lemon juice with some bits floating in it. Perfect. I don't need a taste test to know what this is going to taste like. It's going to taste like lemon juice. If I let the rosemary steep in there for a while, maybe it will add to the flavor. I'm curious what the base of our drink is going to be because we haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, I can't be too hard on those games I played in college because they're like my first time actually getting to play role-playing games. Because I never really had any success getting friends together in high school. Like this is a sequence of shell jumps. That's fun. Okay, bonking my head against that corner is what's killing me. Okay, let's see. That one is just off of the that floor of munchers. That one's not so bad. Am I supposed to throw it at the green block, maybe? Maybe that's what you want me to do. That might be a little more consistent. Now I think about it. I'm just going to die to this first jump like two-thirds of the time, aren't I? You know, it's funny. Half the people I played role-playing games with in college, I haven't spoken to in years, and the other half are like still my closest friends. Very close to that big 1k. Oh yeah, that's definitely the intended strat. Hmm, that was close. Then let's grab that blue shell and I'm sure do something else funky with it.
get excited and we die. You know, that's normal. Let's see, I know additional postage required on the network just had its season one finale. I need to catch up on that. Because Jay does good work. Hey, look at that. I summoned a Jay in the chat. Yeah, congratulations, Jay. I hope you can take it easy now for a little while. Because I know you are working hard. But yeah, the Ceaseless Tide of Mortality is going okay so far. You know, Mario gets used to dying. And our drink is currently not really a drink yet. It's more of a herbal essence. But we might get to something that's actually a drink soon. I'm sorry, you still have to keep going at a fast pace. That sucks. <sighs> and you're gonna come back to streaming pretty soon, right, Jay? On the next, on the same channel, on this very channel. In fact, why is that jump sometimes not going through? Since Game Tuesdays. Is there any you have your eye on? Oh yeah, gotta find something 4th of July themed. Oops. Counted an extra death there. I mean, licensed games are just fascinating. Especially when they're not completely awful. I remember my roommate in college, like, the thing that really got him into, like, computer programming was making modded maps for Chex Quest, which is the Chex branded knockoff of Doom. That apparently has a thriving community because modding it is really easy. Oh. Right, that's a thousand deaths. Boom. In fact, that's a thousand and one. All right, what's the wheel going to give us for big four digits? So four digits still looks good on the stream. Good, good. I was hoping that the digit rollover wouldn't make things overflow in a weird way. All right, put your money now. What do you think the wheel's going to be? Actually... I should set up a prediction really quick, shouldn't I? On whether the drink is going to end up being good or terrible. Let's do that. If you'll indulge me for two minutes before I spin this wheel. Let me open up my dashboard and put a prediction just so you can wager some points. Maybe I could do that for my phone, but I'm already there. All right, start a prediction. All right, what will the final drink be like? Um, good. 
bad, undrinkable. Let's see, should I put any other options on here other than good, bad, undrinkable? Um. Hmm. Evil. All right, there we go, four choices. Got it. All right, there we go, prediction is live. Thank you for indulging me there. I'll let you put your predictions in and then we'll spin the wheel. Just because we're still at one of those phases where, one of those points where. Nothing is there yet. In fact, here, let me hop into my own Twitch account and put some points on good because I want this to be good. Or should I, I should put points on bad so regardless I get to be happy. gonna put 400 points on this being undrinkable boom there we go all right we had a minute here let's spin the wheel big money big money big money big money big money big money more lemon juice why not I already have it sitting right here I didn't even put it back on the shelf I would say right now we are still pretty firmly in the undrinkable category. No, the wheel said two. That looks like two. Two hits of lemon juice. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I wasn't looking at camera, so I'm not sure that you can actually see that, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I guess I should see if the rosemary managed to infuse at all, huh? Nope, it's still just very, very acrid lemon juice. You ever taken a bite of a lemon? I certainly have. It's not the worst thing you can do. But it's not particularly great. I'd much rather take a bite of a lime, you know? Thing. Drink data. There we go. Boom. There we go. Just locking that window so I can continue to edit it as needed. All right, let's get back to this. Oops. Close. Yeah, you know how they make whiskey sours? This is so far a rosemary sour. Let's see, if I'm gonna name this after a Mario pun, it's probably gonna have to be Rosalina, isn't it? They don't have to be named after Mario puns, but it's fun when they are. Not Mario puns, but Mario references. Sorry, I, I care enough about puns that I care about calling things puns and not puns correctly. I could get fish sauce in there and that would change the whole game. Honestly, at that point, that would just be kind of like, if you put enough like savory stuff in here, it could end up being kind of like a sauce that you might put on like rice or noodles, you know? Oh, missed the shell. I still want to see what's up there. All 
right. Thanks for stopping by, Jay. Let me read out your suggestions. Uncle Thwomp's Barrel of Mystery. That's good. Oh, just the one. Yeah, yeah. All right, have a good night, Jay. Thanks for stopping by. Getting so close several times. So we can do this. I was saying this was easy, the second half of this is not easy. I hope we end up being able to call this drink Uncle Thwomp's Barrel of Mystery. Right now we're not there at all, but we could get there. It's possible. This concept could make for this whole stream that we've been doing could be a good block for a future charity stream where a donation incentive is like, hey, donate $10, add a thing to the wheel. I'll have to remember that. That, and then going back to Celeste, doing like a crowd control Celeste race. Where you can make small donations to turn on variant modes and trolls. Especially to influence the outcome of a race. Oh, I got my first podcast fan mail today. That was good. Well, I should say we did, because it was for both CJ and I, you know. I can't be here pretending like Gahooligans isn't half CJ's work. Without her, that we wouldn't have a show. I just do the more, you know, the um, editing and the social media side of it and the co-hosting part of it you know I do like this host role of here I'm here to just be an active listener and let you tell me about the thing that you're so excited about hmm all right that's as far as that's the farthest we've made it Okay, we're close. That just getting the spacing of that jump is tricky. Here's a question. Do y'all have any board or role-playing games that you absolutely love and that you never get chances to play? Because I have so many. I was smart and married someone who uh, likes to play board games just as much as me. And then there are only so many good two-player board games, you know? I don't actually know Slash. 
that a party game? Is that like a slasher themed party game? First one off of my head is um Scythe. I own Scythe and I've gotten to play it with more than two players like two or three times. Oh, it's the shipping version of against of uh like games where it's like, alright, here's two fictional characters who's gonna win in a fight. This is by whose ship is correct. That's incredible. I love that. CJ, I would absolutely play Mario Party with you, but I don't want to pay $60 for a Mar Mario Party game. I guess I could emulate an old one. Actually, Callie, that could be a future stream. We could have a Mario Party night. I know that the, the Moonshot Network has had its issues with Mario Party. But hey, Twitch chat managed to do okay. And yeah, with all the donation bonus stars, yeah, we're allowed to continue to have Mario Party on the channel. <sighs> I would have to find some way, some wrinkle to add to it because that's what makes streaming fun for me. Speaking of wrinkles, it's time for a wheel. And you still have time to change your predictions if you end up seeing what this wheel does. All right. I would love to get some gummy worms in there. I think tea would be really good in there. Black tea, if we could hit that. Um, also, even just some water to water it down. Um, I think whiskey would be okay in here. Um, honey, 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 honey and blackberries also. Could all be good. So there's good choices here. There's good options. Hey, we just barely dodged a bullet there. I have to go get ice cream because that's in the freezer. I'm very... This is going to be great, actually. Okay, like, ice cream and lemon juice, not exactly what I would choose. And let's see, we have cookie dough ice cream, which means it's going to be a... Uh, Less than ideal textural experience, especially because it's going to melt in here pretty fast. Yeah, lemon and ice cream. It'll be fine. There's lemon sorbet. I'll be right back with some ice cream. So I'll mute my mic while I get up and go. In fact, let me just put us on BRB. Okay, we are back. We've got...
got ice cream in our glass. Um, it's not loving the lemon juice. I'm sure it'll be fine. But the liquid is all entirely lemon juice still. That was a lot of lemon. I'll still put this as pretty undrinkable. I could blend it and try to make like a lemon milkshake, I guess. I also swallowed a piece of rosemary there. And my lips are burning from the lemon. Great, great. This is a good experience. We're doing great. We're doing just fine. All right. Let's see if we can beat this level before we have to add something else to this concoction. Panicked. I might have had a shot if I didn't panic there. This is interesting because we're now four elements in and we're still not really at anything that resembles like a drink. You know? Maybe if I blended this down, I guess, it would be like a milkshake, like I was saying. Can't forget my shells can't bonk my head. Hmm. See, if I don't spin that chocolate lime cooler, I probably will just drink it tonight. Because I bet it'll be half decent. Rosemary ice cream would be half decent. I've had weird ice creams before. And rose, rosemary feels like it's in that range of like ice creams you don't think would work, but do. Like olive oil ice cream worked like that. Yeah, uh, kids, don't put rosemary in your drinks, or if you do, strain it out, because having a piece of rosemary go down your throat is not a pleasant experience. Oh, that is what I have to do. Oh, and it's right there. It's right there. Okay. So I do need to bounce off the shell after it starts to go up the slope. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. I thought we had to do something different. The color coding in this level is quite nice. hit the quick load button. <gasps> I forgot I still hope those bound on this controller. Oh, we got to do our first part again. That's okay. This first part was easy. This is not a big loss. In fact, I might stop counting deaths until we get back to that midway. See, almost got back there.
save there. All right, now that won't happen again. There we go. Yeah, boom. Of course, the moment we got back there. Should we had one more death there. Boom, there's level down in what, an hour? 45 minutes, nice. That's pretty good. And we're on to Chuck City. Just updating my quick save so I don't accidentally get thrown back. Everyone loves the charge in Chucks. Yeah, less than 200 for that level, which is still, I think, on par about for how the other levels were because that was the fifth level, sixth level. And I'm at just over a thousand deaths. I guess the first couple levels didn't take as many. Okay, what do I do here? Probably instantly run. Yeah, instantly run. Okay, gotta run. And probably bounce off this guy after I run. But bouncing off of Chucks is weird. They all send you flying at weird angles. Hmm, this is gonna take some experimenting to figure out. This is going to be a janky level, isn't it? And that's just how it's going to be. Yep. I just need to bounce off that last guy when he's jumping. Yeah, sometimes they just send you flying at a weird angle off of their heads. Hmm, close. I wonder if I'm supposed to wait on that guy, actually. It seems hard to get a proper bounce in the right direction off of him. There we go. Oh, I see. I see. Good music this level. Oh, almost. I think instead I want to bounce off the truck to get over that. Did they ever bring charging chucks back in later Mario games? Because most of my Mario experience, I'll admit, is like the older games. I don't think these guys were in Odyssey. I feel like I've seen them in 3D games. I need to get network Mario lore experts on here. Yeah, I think I do need to bounce off the chuck to actually get enough height there. Eleven hundred 
here we come. Since we're almost there, what are your bets on, chat? Where are we landing on the wheel today? Can anything save lemonade and ice cream? Because I've had good lemonade ice cream before. I've seen it work. Alright, last try. There we go. Lemon, honey, rosemary, ice cream, and sriracha. Thanks, CJ. Really appreciate it. I guess you do have your money on three. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's go ahead. Ramen seasoning. No one's on my side tonight, which is fair. It's more fun when you're not on my side. Honey! That's a win. That's absolutely a win for me. I was just saying that we needed some honey in this lemon. All right, let's see. We're just going to do a squoze a honey in there. And I think now we do actually need to give this a stir. I didn't grab my cocktail shaker, but also this does not feel like something that you do with a cocktail shaker. It feels like we're more in the milkshake realm now. Definitely now. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, this is one of those things where you probably need a blender for it to actually work. Okay. It's definitely gotten considerably more edible. But you still have to spit out the rosemary leaves. <sighs> I would still say that this is solidly in the bad, but I wouldn't call it undrinkable right now. It's good to know that the wheel can be pretty kind and we can still end up with something pretty bad. It's not just the objectively terrible options on there that make this interesting. Oh, oops, I forgot to update that we also have honey. Oops, haven't died that way before. Oops, I'm at least two deaths in. Three deaths in. Let's see. This concept could also be fun with pizza, if we were spinning a wheel for pizza toppings to put on. Yes, but in pizza you want to do all the toppings at once. You can't really make it incrementally as you go on like a drink. So I think a pizza making stream would be fun. Starting with like making the dough and then doing something on stream for a couple hours while it rises. I keep making that same mistake when I get there. Stop panicking. Oops, I got crouch jump there on accident. Mario always looks so scared when he's crouch jumping. No, is that not it? Because huh, I'm getting just about as much height there. So maybe I just need to back up on that falling platform a little bit further and get a little bit more run speed. Hmm. Still, we're getting there. 
progress is being made. Oh, maybe I need to wait for it to jump again. Oh, wait. Hit my death counter at the wrong time. That's what killed me there. Oh, so these Chucks are hardy fellas. The fact it takes three hits and they have such long iframes is impressive. Like, I think the only other, like, enemy in Super Mario World that's as tough is Bowser. I think Bowser's, like, twice as tough, but also Bowser's the boss, you know? Oh, shoot. Did not mean to hit that quick little there. That's okay, that's still... That was a fair enough death. I should really unbind those from my shoulder buttons. nice when I'm playing casually and not worrying so much about how often I'm quick saving, quick loading. But even then, I've still made some mistakes that have hurt. on the third bounce. Sloppy deaths. Sloppy, sloppy deaths. Okay, yeah, that coin is dead. Killed a jack. <sighs> Sorry, this is taking focus now. For an hour, it's just like okay, out of words now. I'm sure my other fellow introverts get me. Let's see, I got to see a dog have his first experience at a beach, and that was a good thing about this week. There's so much joyful running to do at the beach. There's also so many things to try to eat at the beach. He said that he wanted to eat muscle shells more than anything else. You know, the definitely edible muscle shells, definitely. Yeah, I love the beach. 
growing up, the Oregon coast was my mom's home away from home. So we get up, we would get that out there at least once a year. And now I live somewhere where I can like drive an hour and be there. Where the water is far too cold to ever swim in. Some people are like, oh yeah, the beach. I go and swim in the ocean. I'm just like, and die of hypothermia? You know. Go take some long walks. I flew a kite. I just recently learned how to fly a kite. It is very fun. Even if you spend half the time untangling the strings. But hey, I knit too, and that's also the same. Where knitting is super fun and pleasant, and then you have terrible times where you have to untangle a horrible knot, and it takes you hours. And sometimes you have to give up and just cut the yarn. But you definitely hit a sunk cost fallacy where it's like, well, I spent so long trying to fix this, I have to. I do think it has to be off that chuck on that top row. And we're dead, because I waited too long. I, mean, I was talking about board games that I never get to play, because I have a lot. Let's see. I wish I liked two-player Root a little bit better, because Root's a really neat asymmetrical strategy game where like every faction plays completely differently. And the two-player is pretty fun, but it definitely shines with three or four. Also has a tie-in role-playing game, which I have not looked at. There we go. Well, victory sip, right? Gotta take a victory sip. Nope. It's everything there is, feels like it should taste good. And then like, it's like, okay, we've got the sour of the lemon, but that's okay on its own. And we've got the creaminess of the ice cream and that's okay on its own. But the combination is not a great time. All right, onwards. Ooh, we're gonna do something funky with this Chuck here, aren't we? Oh yeah, bounce off that football first. Oh, and then bounce off the chuck there. I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. Well, that was just rude, mister. There we go. Oh, that's mean. That's mean. That's so mean. And of course, that's my 150th death. Back to the wheel. back to the wheel. I don't know if anything's saving this at this point. Lemon juice and ice cream is just not a combination, it turns out. Who could have imagined? Sure, why not? Let's hit it with some cardamom, why not? Why not? It's not gonna change anything. Hmm. 
used it with a couple dashes of our cardamom bitters. We've used these before. I like the flavor of cardamom a lot. It tastes like Christmas to me. Sometimes my family would make cardamom bread. Actually, I made that for the first time a year or two ago. I hate how little liquid there actually is to all of this. <sighs> Maybe more ice cream would balance it out and like make it more of like an actual milkshake. I don't know though. Probably no saving it. All right. Let's see if we can geysel this out. I'd love to beat two levels today. fast actually need to stall as long as I can there yeah like that That's a good, that's a good troll. That's a good troll. I knew those invisible blocks were going to kill me somehow. Oh yeah, Root is very fun. And honestly, that's a game that I've actually gotten some chances to play. Uh, I have the old Game of Thrones board game, which is actually a pretty fun, uh, like big, we're gonna have a four hour, six hour board game with a ton of politics and like, but it didn't have the problem of like completely losing like a third of the way through the game. I don't know. I'd probably go back and look at it now and be like, oh wow, there are some weird design choices here. I just need to run the moment I hit there. It's exactly the same as the start of the level. Oh, see, I was just like a couple pixels off there. I'd love to play through another campaign of a legacy game, but like I have time for like one IRL game a week, and that's almost always role playing game. I played through Pandemic Legacy in college, and that was really fun. And like I'd love to try like Betrayal Legacy, the legacy version of Betrayal at House on the Hill. Seems like fun to like build up the lore of your haunted house. jumped slightly early there, but we were right. We just need to... It's Quickie World. You just gotta go fast. That's like the entire name of the game. Oh, 
Oh, I have to bounce off the chuck there. I see. And then there's just a chuck gate and we're clear. Okay, we can do this. We are capable of this. Did you, you don't know where I am now, do you? Because you can't see me up here. Hmm. But I do have to bounce off of you. That's hard. We have a beautiful board game shelf. Now I feel bad about how little it gets used. Let's see, Agricola. I don't know if y'all have had chances to play Agricola, but actually I have a hankering for that right now farming worker placement game where you're trying to build like the most successful like peasant farm and each turn like each round one more action becomes available for your worker placement and like you can decide like okay we're going to have children and give yourself an extra worker to place but then you'll have to make more food every season or you'll take huge point penalties from starving Yeah, highly recommend Agricola. It's a game with very little randomness and yet a ton of replayability. Hmm. You have to figure out what to do there. I'm probably gonna spend a good 50, 60 deaths on this here. I have a feeling. In fact, I might actually make a quick save. Take a sip of this unpleasant milkshake. All right, yeah, we'll play Agricola tomorrow, CJ. That's what we will do. this first little bit of this section. This is such a neat little trick. Bounce off the chuck once, gets attention, runs after you, take advantage of the iframes to bounce off of it three times there even though it'll die after two hits. Yeah, actually I'm going to make a quick save here. So I do have to take a sip for a quick save. It's just sour ice cream, and ice cream's not supposed to be sour because it's not sorbet. Sour ice cream. Don't recommend. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Almost. Just have to get the timing right there. Especially if I could stop those baseballs from spawning, that would be great.
I need to not hold jump and dunk just about to jump off of his head. That's what I need to do. Oh yeah, that was it. That was almost it. There we go. Boom. That's now, I think, like what? About 200 deaths? Because, yeah, we started at 888. Or, no, about 300 deaths. Yeah. To get through two levels. Nice. Let me make my saves. All right, onwards and upwards, yeah? Or wait, victory sip, we have to. The point of this dream. Actually, maybe if I just take a little spoonful because the spoon still has a lot of honey on it. It's still bad. I guess rolling lemon juice twice is kind of a jinx. Yeah, it's not great. Oh boy, on off level. Oh boy, one of these. I see. I've played the Celeste version of this. Hmm. I needed to let the ceiling go up a little higher. Okay, so that is as high as the ceiling goes. Okay. I just can't wait at all, can I? Oh, well, I'll spin the wheel after this run. Okay. <sighs> Right, I don't know what I want from the wheel at this point. Maybe I should just roll something to make me completely give up on this. That would be nice. Should be nice if I could land on the undrinkable, then I, at least I could win my points back. Tonic? No, I don't want more sour. I don't want more sour. Why do you think the tonic's going to be good? I, okay, you know, I've rolled tonic enough times I can take it off the wheel for next time. Alright. Jack Rudy Classic Tonic Syrup. Just a little splash because I'm trying to save this thing here and it does not want to be saved. I guess there's a reason that, like, gin and tonic is the only drink that usually has tonic in it, and it's not, like, something that you'd regularly have on, like, your bar shelf to put into half your drinks. <laughs> oh. All right. Give it a stir. Yep, just more sour. Honestly... Kind of tastes exactly the same. Also, I'm sorry, the rosemary has not achieved anything in there. The rosemary's just there to make the texture worse. That feels just like a cruel joke. <laughs> oh, that's what this game is, though. A cruel joke. Let's get back to that cruel joke. Okay, at least this game doesn't have, like, any, like, actual Kaizo block, block trolls. Invisible blocks that kill you on what should be normal jumps. Should be able to do this without pressing jump, I think, as I bounce off the bat. I want to just do a low bounce off the bat. Yeah, there we go. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Alright. 
Oh, 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 I can go back and hit the switch going down the underside. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I can. I was wondering why there was an on-off somewhere I couldn't reach. I can. Probably want to spin jump over that spiky guy, actually. doing just fine. I'll admit, I'm here more for the Kaizo than the cocktail today, given how this has gone. I, I, I should have put a hard line at no dairy on the list and included ice cream in that. Well, I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay. I see what it is. I don't want McAfee antivirus, I'm actually fine. Okay, given that we're now in a level called Inferno, I feel like it's only fitting that the next thing we hit is Sriracha. We got this. Not like that. I feel like I gotta still go as fast as I can, you know? I guess there's no great harm in waiting a little bit longer, so I can at least scope out the level a little further. speed there. Oh, okay. Those munchers do stick around. They just get hidden. So I do need to go fast there. Just experimenting, you know, finding out all the unusual ways of death. can't spin jump off of that Koopa because then I'll just fall into the lava. So I do have to bounce off of it. a lot of deaths to this first section here. Alright, it just needs to be as low of a jump as I possibly can there. So I just need to barely tap jump. And be ready to re-grab when I get closer to the Koopa. I'm 
so bad at this bat jump here. Okay, yeah, that ceiling it stays very low. And then what am I even going to do with that red shell? I can't quite see far enough to know. Oh, that was 250 deaths, wasn't it? Yeah, 252 in fact. 1252, excuse me. Oh, back to the wheel we go. Back to the back to the back to the wheel we go. Ice! Of course, exactly what this needs is ice. Why not? We will happily add some ice. Ice to the ice cream. Yeah, ice will fix everything. It does make the ice cream colder. Maybe it'll help it re-solidify. It'll be great. All right, I'm gonna go grab some ice. Okay, we are back. We have obtained ice. Oh, uh, I don't know, at least it's gonna make it a colder drink, which is pleasant, since it's pretty warm in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna let that ice, you know, do some melting before we do a taste test. Oh, dog heard something. Yeah, I think when I write this recipe up, it will be as a milkshake, for sure. And to be made in a blender. Alright, here we go. what is happening out there is the dog saw his reflection and thought that it was a ghost. We've had issues with the ghost dog before. Oh shoot, that's okay. I wasn't gonna let that level anyway. It's either that or one of the neighborhood cats is harassing him just wants to play with the cats and the cats do not trust him justifiably so 
because he wants to play in a way that cats don't want to play. Bounce off of you, I go there, I grab the red shell, or do I just kick the red shell? I probably just kick the red shell, and then I jump and bounce off of it. That's going to be my guess. But also, hey, oh, we are out of the squishy section there. on the list of visible on street. There we go. Why am I bonking my head then? I guess I could wait a second. I can wait like a half second there. And maybe I don't need to rush quite as much as I am here. It's like there. It makes sense actually to wait a sec. Need to get my low jumps down. Which is difficult. Oh, see there, there. Okay, I think I need to use the shell to get this jump here. Because I'm not sure I can jump this low enough. So, progress. We made progress. I'm proud of having managed to do the stream so consistently. Because we've gotten it going pretty consistently, consistently for like close to three months now. And with me and how I live my life, it is hard for me to do anything consistently for that long. It's nice to have a couple viewers every time. That really does make it a lot more fun. fun to watch. I'm not really like a live stream watching person all that much, so I don't exactly know what makes a stream fun to watch, but I hope I'm doing a decent job. I guess also I try not to go like super long like a lot of people do. You know, like two hours is about right for me. I think it would be fun to like try to do a like 
marathon stream at some point for some good cause. But I would need to, like, be a small part of that. Oh, okay, that red shell is not actually what I need there. It will not go on the lava. For some reason, I thought it would. Thirteen hundred, here we come. I feel like we've been dying faster this stream than previous streams. I can take my time, I'm allowed to take my time there. Alright, last run. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go spin that wheel. All right, there we go. <laughs> went past Sriracha, went past more ice cream, we landed on Grenadine. I keep meaning to space things out in the wheel, so, like, I don't have, like, all the alcohol scripted in one corner and all the you know, the other various things grouped in other corners. Next time I'll see if I can do that. Let's have some grenadine. Let's make this red. Let's make this red and pomegranate. Let me make sure I have this in camera. Why don't I think there's going to be any color happening here? Actually, there might be when I mix it. I mean, we've got a little bit of red in there. Yeah, we're making it more into like a strawberry milkshake milk. Strawberry rosemary milk. Yeah, it's a little pink now. Looks like, yeah, strawberry milk. And that ice has had time to melt a little bit. All right, uh, let's see what grenadine does in here. I think it's mostly just because it's watered down, but it is starting to come back around. I don't think the grenadine helped. I don't think it hurt. I think it added some color and that's the main thing it did. But hey, I'll take that. I'll enjoy the grenadine adding some color. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting used to how this tastes. Maybe that's all it is. I think we're back solidly in bad rather than undrinkable. I think we even have a chance now of getting back to good. Okay, I need to do like a jump and re-grab there to make that jump. Oh, progress! <sighs> we got this. I forgot to update my ingredient list. I'll do that in a sec. 
this next death. There we go. Hmm. I'm putting this one on as another uh, definitely do not make this drink. Even if we manage to save it, there are better ways to achieve the same result, I'm certain. I keep going back to this fair food that I, they would have at the Montana State Fair, which was called a lemon dairy, which was just a lemonade milkshake. But they did a thing that made it work, so like the lemon didn't curdle. And this kind of does taste like that. Except there's something about this that is very off-putting that the lemon dairy managed to avoid, and I don't know how they did it. Did I talk about lemon dairies last week on stream? I feel like I did. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. You know, I'm a pretty boring person. I only have so many stories. Oh good, CJ's looking up at a recipe for me. Appreciate it, hon. Oh, sweetened condensed milk. I can I see. That's why it doesn't curdle. Yeah, that's the way that streaming is like being in a long-term relationship. Having a long-term partner or spouse is a lot of listening to your spouse tell the same new story because they actually have a new story ten times in a row over the next two weeks. calling it creamy lemonade, which is not a good adjective. I agree. Hi. Completely unrelated. Wasn't lemon a f lemon uh, fanfic term for smutty fanfic? Completely unrelated. How do I keep overshooting this Koopa Troopa? school experience. Finding a friend's lemon fic in the... I see. So lemon is like nothing left to the imagination while you have lime, which means like it's smutty, but it isn't quite as graphic. I do not know PWP. I did remember, like, that there's this fruit rating system. Oh, plot. What plot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I just never spent enough time online in fanfic circles to actually know all the acronyms, even if I know the concepts. Oh, yeah, so we're porn with plot, of course. I like plot. What plot better? Even though it's a little more euphemistic.
translate these fic tags would be an excellent, um, actually, mini game. Actually, together, CJ, you and I could put together a pretty good game show, I think. A pretty good game show block. I don't know if we could quite reach the level of the uh, DMV game from the Moon Carnival. Ooh, that was so close! Oh wait, sorry, we hit 350, 1350. Spin this wheel at least one more time. Yeah, we're spinning this wheel one more time. I want to try at least 50 more deaths here because we were very close to making progress in that level. Which means we have to. We don't have a choice. What we do. But I choose to ignore it. Hey, would you look at that? Boom. Would you look at that? I'm not sad this time because this was not a good drink to start with. I'm glad Chad is on my side that we're celebrating. All right. Um... This watch has not been opened in a while. I'm sure it's fine. Cheers! I know that's way too much sriracha to put into a drink, but... We have already crossed the Rubicon. I'm sorry, I'm sure these mixing sounds are terrible on stream. With the ice cubes in there. It's more pink and it's got little bits of grit in it too. That's not a good texture thing. That's not a good texture or a good visual. It looks kind of diseased. It's starting to kind of look like, you know when they had like the, the, oh, the chicken nuggets is actually this pink goo. It's, it's not there yet, but it's starting to get there. I'd still say it's in the strawberry milk side of things. Do we dare? Do we dare take a sip? I'm gonna wait and see if I need to take a selfish sip. Yeah, we're gonna put it off. We're gonna put it off. I mean, it's nowhere texturally close. It's just starting to... And of course, that pink goo was completely fake. That was like, um, something from like a Nickelodeon show or something. Yes! Yes! Just like that. That's how it's done. Boom! That's how it's done! Alright, now we gotta take our celebration sip. Well, that made, first of all. Alright, celebration sip! Here we go! I took the smallest possible sip because no, no, nope. Nope. That sour and that spicy do not go together. That sour and that spicy do not go together. Okay, I have to... I chicken out. Or at least gonna take a nice big smell. Oh, it smells spicy. I don't like that it smells spicy. This might be worse than the laptop killer.
is still mostly overwhelmingly sweet, but just knowing that there's sriracha even in there makes it way harder to drink. Oh, God. Ugh. Alright, we celebrated enough. Let's keep going. What do you want me to do there? Well, there's no shell to grab or anything. I see, it was another low jump. Oh, the two coins is to represent a low jump. I get it. I was wondering why they were using two coins there. Oh, that really kind of sticks with you. Yeah, I'm going to have to treat this one with a lot of respect because I feel like you take too much of that and you are going from haha -ha, funny bad drink to oh, don't want to be live streaming that on Twitch. It's still there. It's still it's still haha -ha, funny. Just if I took a big swig it would no longer be there. also got layers, and I don't understand how it ended up with layers. We committed crimes tonight. Well, we didn't, the wheel did. It's not our fault. Needed to spin jump there, because that's a blue coin. Yeah, spin jump off of that lava monster. I'm going to get a very low jump there. Oh, we're very dead. The funniest bit is I never found a single chunk of cookie dough. Maybe it's just because I've taken two small sips that I'll never actually get a chunk of cookie dough. I can't even really see them in there anymore. I wonder what happened. Oh, I would like to start taking name suggestions for this drink now, because I doubt that its essential nature is going to change with the last one or two spins we do tonight. Maybe the lemon did disintegrate it. That would make sense. Though, I think the bits of grit I was seeing are from the sriracha. Just parts of it that separated out. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's an upsetting sentence to say. You don't like to think of Sriracha separating. Okay, yes, I did want to hit that invisible block, and then that platform trolled me. Sour flower, that's pretty good. Sour rose, because of the rosemary in there. Sour flower cream, 
Um, we could go with something like PD Piranha Plant because that character design has always very been very off upsetting, offsetting. What was it that Jay suggested? Thwomp's Mystery Barrel or something like that? The thing is, we haven't really had any Thwomps in the levels that we've been doing. Like, it'd be nice if we could name it loosely based on one of the levels we were playing tonight, which was like, we had the Chuck City, we had, what was the first level we were doing? Oh yes, Uncle Thwomp's Barrel of Mystery. I feel like Uncle Thwomp's Barrel of Mystery, you need to have, like, prizes to find in there, like gummy worms, you know? So that'll have to go on the list for a future drink. Ooh, I just barely slipped off of there. Um, in the uh, Tears of the Kingdom, you can make spicy milk. But there are many, many ways to make spicy milk. That's too generic for this. And I don't know, I still want to acknowledge the rosemary. Actually, oh hey, look at that, 1400. Well, let's spin the wheel. Let's see if the wheel gives us any ideas here. But I was just thinking, all right, I like naming it after Petey Piranha Plant, an upsetting drink for an upsetting character. And there's the whole Grimace's birthday shake going around. What if this is Petey Piranha Plant's blank shake? What if? Petey Piranha Plant's murder shake. PD Piranha Plants Fire Shake. The possibilities are endless. Let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Rum, uh, I was kind of, actually I'm gonna reroll because I like this being a dry drink. I like not having alcohol in this drink. There's, there's no point in adding alcohol to this drink at this point. So we're gonna reroll and not get alcohol. Oh, we're going to reroll and not get alcohol. <laughs> oh, there's no point. You... Stop. He's already dead. Stop. It's already dead. It's already dead. You don't have to keep doing this. You don't have to keep doing this. Yeah, you're right. I could have added alcohol instead. That's true, Wheel. It's true. All right, I think this is going to take this. Yeah, I just did a small drip because honestly, don't want to waste some good fish sauce on something so terrible. PD's hot and cheap. Petey's Hot and Cheap Shake. Perfect. 
I imagine the answer is yes, but I have your permission to use that red serif. Um, incredible. I think the only thing saving my life right now is that there's ice. Also, I'm not using the fish sauce at all. Which means, honestly, okay, I do need to add a little bit more. I need to not be a coward. The time for cowardice is long past. It's okay, when this is all over, I can just eat my bag of gummy worms. Drink my chocolate wine cooler. Have a pleasant end of my evening after all this. Now I can smell the fish sauce. There it is. <laughs> There's so much happening. This is like the most complicated tapestry of flavors. You've still got the overwhelming sour from the lemon juice and the tonic. And that's kind of laid over like a sea of creaminess from the melted kind of half curdled ice cream, which is not nearly as bad as what happened with the cream last time. Like it's okay. It's just ice cream and lemon juice don't naturally go together. Um, then you've got the residual heat of the sriracha and a little bit of like the kind of, you know, the, what, what do you call the other flavor of sriracha? You know, the kind of like salty pepperiness, the umami of it. Yeah. The umami of it. That's what it is. And uh, there's also that is being backed up by the fish sauce a little bit. You don't really taste the fish sauce, but at the end there's something that's kind of impossible to place unless you know there's fish sauce in there. Let's see, the rosemary is pretty much just in there for texture. The ice is in there to dilute it to save your life from this thing. Uh, so you're not noticing the bitters at all. See, so am I missing anything? Oh yes, the honey. The honey is helping bring a little bit of sweetness, but that's really just blending in with the ice cream. I'd much rather have honey in this than ice cream. Well, hey, we hit a lot of fun things on the wheel today. We've done well. Um, do I want to call the stream here? Because I feel like the, the PD's hot and cheap is done. But on the other hand, we just hit this midway, and I feel like we can make progress. Yeah, we're going to give this 100 more deaths. Um, we're going to give this 100 more deaths. If we get to the end of the level or hit 100 more deaths, we're going to spin the wheel one more time. I think we will decide whether we want to add the last thing or not, and then call it officially done. But PD's hot and cheap. To figure out how I write this up as a recipe that at least sounds vaguely sensible. I don't know how I will get there. It might be a moot point. I'm pretty proud of what I did with the Luigi one. Making it kind of sound like communion. Separating out the different elements of it. I'm not using that quick save. That wasn't on purpose. You can't make me take a sip. That was an accident. That was a finger slip. That's all. Oh. Yeah, I was too late already.
my shell jumps are still not super consistent. 